Good day, sunshine. What's happening, fellas? I got to work on the uh, goosey last night. The old goosey. I ain't my zoom working. Oh well, the uh, uh, top end came apart pretty easy. You know, like Darren was saying the other day when he's working on the Volkswagen, once you do this stuff so much, you know what size tools to have out, and basically had everything ready to go sitting there. Jerked the top end off, and what Darren was saying the other day about the modern fuels, man, the top of this piston is ate up pretty bad. Yeah, you just I can't really see it. Let me get out some light. These cylinder bores are uh, chrome lined. Got some delamination going on here on the chrome. And I think it has a lot to do with the detonation as far as the modern fuels and the alcohol and all that goes. I mean, there, there are places, matter of fact, there's a place in, down Cincinnati, Bortec, that will do uh, Nicosil cylinders for you. Or you can buy the uh, uh, Ghirardelli, something, well, no, that's the chocolate. The, uh, what is it? Gallardo, something like that. Cylinders who made the original cylinders for all the. Moto Guzzi's, you can still buy them new. That's probably the best way to go. The uh, cheap way to go, like I did, is get the uh, a used, good used set. Just have to match, make sure you match the type of cylinder with the type of piston. They make A, B, and C. I guess there's an expansion rate difference and a clearance used the clearances really don't matter too much you can always knurl the skirts and make that up a little bit but anyways I probably won't get this posted until this evening because we're going to a uh, Father's Day show a car show up in uh, Greenville Ohio that's normally what we do on Father's Day. I just know it's got splatter or something on that thing. Anyways, uh, hope you guys have a good Father's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.